Please be seated. As Vice President and Dean of Science and Engineering, it is with great pleasure that I welcome you to the University of Manchester and the magnificent surroundings of the Whitworth Hall for this graduation ceremony. <clears throat> In particular, I would like to welcome our graduates, whose achievements and hard work we are here to celebrate today. We are also delighted to see so many family and friends here from all over the world. Welcome. For our graduates today marks a momentous milestone on a road that began many years ago. The journey of all you bright women and men has been enabled by the unstinting support and encouragement of parents, grandparents, guardians and family friends. You may be sitting here now about to be awarded a degree from the University of Manchester but it was not so long ago that you were at school, doing homework, and wondering what university would be like. The people who love you are as proud of you today as they have ever been. And therefore, I would ask the graduates to please stand up, rotate by 45 to 60 degrees, your engineers after all, Please show your appreciation to the people who have supported you. Clap, cheer, whistle. This is your chance to say thank you. Do sit down. When you decided to study at the University of Manchester, you chose to make a major investment in your future, an investment that began to pay dividends almost as soon as you arrived. During the course of your studies, you will have gained the skills and knowledge to help you find success in future years. Put simply, your achievement in completing your degree cannot be underestimated for its value, and it is a strong platform for you to build your career and achieve your goals. This year, we are delighted to present our first ever Stellify graduates. Stellify is our program offering students a unique and personalized set of activities designed to help them develop the distinctive attributes of a University of Manchester graduate. Socially responsible, highly employable, and resourceful global citizens who are able to make a positive contribution to society as well as to their workplace. We are very proud that so many of you graduating today have taken part in Stellify activities during your time at the university. Manchester is already one of the finest universities in Europe, but we are determined to become one of the best in the world. Our ambition is to lift the University of Manchester into the first rank of higher learning on a global scale. With 160 nationalities on campus, the University of Manchester is already a truly global institution and one which will remain so, valuing its European and international staff, students and alumni. At the core of the new vision is major investment in buildings, infrastructure and facilities that are being built even as I speak and which are concrete evidence of our commitment to the highest standards in scholarship and research. The £430 million project, the Manchester Engineering Campus Development, is part of a £1 billion investment in buildings and will give state-of-the-art facilities for teaching and research across engineering. We are also building the Sir Henry Royce Institute as part of the National Hub for Research in Advanced Materials and also the Graphene Engineering Innovation Centre to bring graphene to commercial realisation. We've recently opened the £13 million Schuster Annex in the School of Physics and Astronomy, and just this week, our Jodrell Bank site, a birthplace for radio astronomy, was given world heritage status. 
But it isn't the bricks, the mortar, wires, technology, equipment, pieces of paper that, are, that make this university so great and successful. It is our staff, our students, and all of our people. A university does not exist but for its staff and students. You students, graduates, are the University of Manchester. And because of our dialogue with you and your input, the university is changing and will continue to change for the better. Today is just as much about honouring you for this valuable contribution as it is for your success in your academic studies. The greatest thing we've taught you is not the facts and figures, but how to learn, what to learn, and how to think critically and to ask questions. Your job prospects, having studied here, are enviable because employers the world over recognize the value of the diploma that you will soon be holding in your hand. And to the parents and family who believed their days of paying for their children were over, some of you are in for a shock as your child's educational aspirations continue. You have my sympathy. Your degree is a hugely important milestone and we celebrate your success. But this is only the beginning of another journey and of your association with the university, not the end. The journey continues way beyond today's pomp and ceremony. Our career service continues to offer you help and support and you can, can, you can continue to make good use of our world-class libraries. The Alumni Association will help you to remain in contact with the friends and the university, linking you with a community of over a quarter of a million Manchester graduates living and working across the globe. And as alumni, you yourselves can help future students in many ways, as ambassadors of the university, in student placements, employment, and directly in the development of the university. Just as you were vital to the university when you were studying here, so you will continue to be a vital part of its future. And remember that our doors will always be open to you. You are always welcome. I congratulate you on your success and wish you every success and happiness in your future lives and careers. It is always a little dangerous to give young people advice, but I will do so anyway. Be bold and turn your dreams into reality Life is not a rehearsal. Thank you very much. Thank you, Vice President. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our wonderful city of Manchester. As head of School of Mechanical, Aerospace and Civil Engineering, it is my great pleasure to say a few words about our School of MACE, as we call it, our students, as well as talk a little about the huge importance of developing and training our engineers and our critical thinkers to tackle some of the world's most important societal challenges. Firstly, it is with great pride that as a Mancunian myself, I am able to represent our school and share with you some of Manchester's deep engineering history. Many of you may not be aware, but Manchester is the birthplace of the engineering discipline in universities. The university originated in Victorian times in response to the engineering challenges of the Industrial Revolution centered in the northwest of England. 1824, the date you see on our logo, was the date of the formation of the Institute of Mechanics, and the university soon followed in 1851. In 1868, the university appointed the first professor of engineering, Osborne Reynolds, and today our Osborne Reynolds chair position is held by our own professor, Peter Stansby, a world-renowned expert in renewable energy technology. This is particularly fitting, as Manchester was also the birthplace of the Industrial Revolution, which we now know has initiated some of today's biggest global challenges, that of climate change and also material resource use. We are therefore proud that our school and our colleagues who lecture and support our students here in Manchester 
are tackling global challenges, including climate change and improving material efficiency through major projects in engineering and interdisciplinary research. As well as developing and researching new low carbon fuels or material efficient technologies, we tackle contemporary engineering problems impacting on the nuclear industry. We use our wave tanks to study renewable energy and flooding. And we are host to the world-renowned Tyndall Centre for Climate Change Research, led by our own Professor Carly McLaughlin. And the creative spirit in Manchester does not end there. Colleagues are building our engineering understanding year on year, not only through technology-focused research, such as innovative manufacturing techniques with applications in aerospace and healthcare, but also discovering novel types of modelling and simulation to create new engineering solutions for a range of civil, structural, mechanical and aerospace engineering problems. It's hard to capture the breadth and the depth of the activity in MACE, but contrasting some examples of new research in the school include a large study of offshore wind, wave and tidal energy to improve low carbon electricity supply, led by our new to be head of department in MACE, Professor Tim Stallard an EU-funded project to evaluate the airflow in the latest aero engines, led by our own Dr. Mark Quinn, and another developing a new technology to remove debris such as volcanic ash or desert sand from the engines of aircraft, le led by Dr. Nick Boydo. Exposing our students to our real-world engineering research offers them key insights into some of the areas that they might wish to work in in their future careers. To support and build on our engineering expertise and activities, as we've already heard, the university is making major investment in our Manchester engineering campus development. This new development is situated close to the National Graphene Institute, as well as colleagues in many other departments, and will help to generate new partnerships between staff and students from different disciplines, something that will be key to success in tackling these great global challenges. I would now like to direct our attention to the successes of our graduates sitting here in this great hall today to share with you all some of their achievements during their time with our school. Our students are the beating heart of our school and it has been a privilege for us to share our understanding, knowledge and skills with you during your time studying with us. Your contributions to our community do us proud. And as such, we are pleased to be able to claim high levels of success in the university's peer-assisted study sessions, better known as our PASS scheme. PASS is run by our own students, supported by staff, but is a popular element of our school's student experience. Each year, PASS schemes across the university are assessed, and our school enjoys an excellent track record in winning PASS awards with two of our past leaders and a past student coordinator winning outstanding achievement awards this year. I would also like to commend our Flight Simulation Society for winning first place overall at the international It Flies competitions hosted both in the United States and the one hosted here in the UK, as well as winning an award for the most innovative aircraft design. It is always particularly pleasing for me to hear from industry judges who interact with the range of competitions and shows that our students engage with, how impressed they always are with the quality as well as the professionalism of Manchester students. So congratulations to you all. In addition to teaching and learning and in line with the university's goal three, the school staff and students take our social responsibilities very seriously with a high level of engagement in many outreach and volunteering activities. Thank you for all your contributions in this area. These activities not only provide immediate benefits to people within Manchester or wherever these activities take place, but the skills that you learn and the experiences you gain in taking part will no doubt lead to further important societal contributions throughout your lives. You have trained and studied with us to be engineers, researchers, expand your expertise, and have gained high levels of engineering, analytical, and research skills. So it is worth remembering that engineering as a discipline and skills in research and project management will only become more important as societies take stock 
of some of the great challenges and opportunities that the world faces today. During your time in our school, we hope you will have broadened your horizons and learnt through your studies how to be critical, analytical and inquiring. But as you will probably now realise, our university also provides a foundation for gaining experience and skills that you can take with you into the wider community, industry, society, and play your part in building a better world, in making a difference. So finally, on behalf of all of my colleagues, may I congratulate you on your hard work, commitment, enthusiasm, and achievement at reaching this important milestone and wish you every success for the future. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank your family, friends, and significant others for all of their support. Congratulations to you all. Thank you very much. Vice President, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Engineering, Hugh J. Park. <laughs> and for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Olu Watavi Afilaka. Badr Hamid Al Rasidi. <laughs> Alexander Bennett. <laughs> Fei Bei Chan. <laughs> Alex Chow. Christoph Hackman. Marwa Hamid. Iskander Abdul Hamid. Also graduating as a President's Doctoral Scholar, William Hurley. <laughs> Joshua Holgate. <laughs> Craig Anthony Janssen. Rohan Kumar. <laughs> Angela Mahe Minas. <laughs> Muhammad Sarul Azmi bin Muhammad Yusuf. <laughs> Roxan Neal. Jonathan Sanchez Munoz. <laughs> Norsha Afidzi Sweb. <laughs> Jorge Francisco Silvia Leon. <laughs> Sarizal bin Ahmed Sabri. Max Solchev. <laughs> Pepe Wang. <laughs> Uiguang Wang. <laughs> Chao Wei.
Zainali Zainal Abidin. <laughs> Li Hai Zhang. <laughs> Tian Zhou. <laughs> and for the degree of Master of Philosophy, Juan Manuel Cruz Monterosas. And for the degree of Master of Science in Aerospace Engineering, Junaid Ali Bakari. <laughs> Wen Kiat Tan. <laughs> and in Commercial Project Management, Zimong Wang. Lanu Zhang. <laughs> and in project management, K. Gordon Akinbo. <laughs> Leanne Coleman. <laughs> David John Griffith. Nicholas Logan. <laughs> Laura Marie Murphy. <laughs> and in Reliability Engineering and Asset Management, Roberto Ivan Barida. And for the postgraduate diploma in aerospace engineering, Wenbo Zhao. <laughs> and in commercial project management, Chu Chin Shu. <laughs> and for the degree of Master of Engineering in Aerospace Engineering with honors. Liu Liu Chaser Ardelian. <laughs> Mohammed Beg. <laughs> Michael Buckley. <laughs> Alexander Chantry. Zaid Ahmed Chowdhury. <laughs> Thomas James Chipchay. <laughs> Eduardo Da Caro. <laughs> Harrison Da George. Petu Slav Dimitrov. <laughs> Jordan Elena. <laughs> Alex Hume. <laughs> Aaron Hopkins Bain. Silviana Andrea Horga. <laughs> Sonali Jagtia. <laughs> Muhammad Izwan Aris bin Jamil Aris. <laughs> Ruth Kellett. Darius Matten. <laughs> Anna
Andrew Molino. Ji Hung Oi. Samuel Oliver Piper. Sana Rasid. Luke Declan Sipton. Sah Iqmal bin Suhaimi. Sebastian Tattered. Beng Tiong Tio. Hanifi Topal. Dimitris Yusuf. Kevin Uthayakumar. And in aerospace engineering with industrial experience, with honors, Brandon Edward Ayrton Holmes. Thomas Maccas. Ziad Mohammed Amin Abdel Kadir. <laughs> Mohammed Abu Bakr Kayum. <laughs> Philip Slovak. <laughs> Dominic Webb. And in aerospace engineering with management with honors, E.K. Beguiristan. <laughs> Diego Del Cura Piedrafita. <laughs> Robert Andre Ponas. And in civil and structural engineering with honors, Ahmed Bakir M. Alali. <laughs> Nathan Alviston. <laughs> Mohammed Almedaifa. Altered at <laughs> Cormac Bait. <laughs> Liam Brown. <laughs> Joe Blow. Chu Wancha, <laughs> Jia Chung Chong, <laughs> Nathaniel Edward Clay, <laughs> Sanusi Sani Dangoti. Cyrus Bing Jamali. <laughs> Kai Zi Ko. <laughs> Alexander Peter Stampen. <laughs> Joseph Stevenson. Carmen Tan. Woo! 
Li Wang. Matthew Hamish Wells. And in civil engineering with honors, Jordan Luke Marcus Bamba. Jack Edgar Brimblegum. Reese Aaron Brown. Maz Hannah Taufik Dada. Dylan Jones. Giacomo Liska. Tianjing Moi. Khalil Nair Nuri. Muhammad Amar bin Sapi. Andreas Sivax. And for the degree of Bachelor of Engineering in Aerospace Engineering with honors, Ahmed Abul Hassan. <laughs> Leoni Benabu Morales. <laughs> Tristan Howell Besson. Atanilson Tucker Kachin Jumba. <laughs> Michael Ronald Kaisedo Figueroa. <laughs> also graduating with an outstanding academic achievement award, Rami Kassia. Rebecca Louise Catlin. <laughs> Mohammed Arifur Rahman Chowdhury. <laughs> Evelyn Lizette Claudio Escudero. <laughs> Julian Koda Forno. Bogdan Stefan Koman. Samuel George Darley. Mustafa El Agab. David Alexander Figueroa Manzaba. Patrick Gleason. Simon Hackland. Ayman Hamruni Cassius. Jason Hitchman. Jefferson Gustavo Huera Guzman. Jordan Christopher Ingram. Adelaide Istekov. Thank you in Khan.
Benjamin Kent. Cheng Kai Li. Luca Malone. Avid Mehta. Christian Fabricio Montero Chandi. Patrick Joseph Malkarin. Juzanana Nagadoaska. Hitesh Pal. Daniel Alejandro Paredes Fernandez. Javier Nafiz Patria. <laughs> Natalie Porter. <laughs> Aun Kattan. <laughs> Bilal Rasid. Chan Kit Sim. <laughs> Kelly Amada Simbana Rivera. <laughs> Cheng Fan Tang. <laughs> Pui Lam Tang. Elias Tanuti. <laughs> Jacob Till. <laughs> Mark Tolman. <laughs> Oliver Williams. Omar Zain Abedin. <laughs> Gune Zot. <laughs> and in civil engineering with honors, Algalia Alakel. Hatima Ibrahim H. Al Ghazal. <laughs> Hassan Rauf Saleh Abdullah Al Saleh. <laughs> Suleiman Sajad Aslam. Muhammad Daniel bin Muhammad Nasri. <laughs> Shaikha Adel Muhammad Ahmed Ali Buseri. <laughs> Siwan Chow. <laughs> Chang Kyu Choi. David Alejandro Clark Bella. <laughs> Sichi Ding. <laughs> Archie Dodwell. <laughs> C. 
Saifeldian Muhammad Said Fadl. Hugh Fong Fan. Wilson Rogelio Ferdinando Imbacuingo. Aya A.A.A. Hassan. Oliver James Grayson Hyde. Saifeldin Munir Abdul Ismail. So that was Saifuddin Munir Abdu Ismail. So the next, Luis Adrian Haramillo Haramillo. <laughs> Rui Ying Ji Chen. <laughs> Geraldine Michelle Haibaha Hernandez. Nicolo Karwoski. <laughs> Claudia Emilia Kraswaska. <laughs> Joe Joe Lee. <laughs> Xiao Ming Lim. Swan Lo. <laughs> Alexander Raul Mier Caviedes. <laughs> Karim Zainul Mahmed. Tamir Khan Mirzakhmet. <laughs> Yanira Jinori Ocampo Pacheco. <laughs> John Ofosu Apia. Paulina Priscilla Orihuela Chango. <laughs> Rowan Saturin. <laughs> Michael William Stephen. <laughs> Barney Townsend. Nicholas Turner. <laughs> Chi Wai Fong. <laughs> James Washington. <laughs> Han Zai. So Tong Zhang. <laughs> and in civil and structural engineering with honors, Paul Famutini Dixon. <laughs> and for the degree of Bachelor of Engineering in Aerospace Engineering, Abhijit Sourya Singh.
it just remains for the graduands to please stand up. And in your hand, you have a very sophisticated piece of headgear, of headwear, which I would now ask you to put on your heads to become graduates of the University of Manchester. Many congratulations. Do sit down. On behalf of the university, um, I wish our visitors, family, friends, good travels from Manchester. I hope you enjoy your day here. And we realize that many of you have traveled long distances to be here today, and we're delighted that you all attended. So thank you very much, and our warmest best wishes to you all. I now declare the ceremony closed. Please stand. <laughs>